let us see about the analysis of continuous time systems after completion of this topic the students can able to analyze the continuous time systems using fourier transform and laplace transform impulse response first topic is lta system with and without memory convolution normally the convolution of the continuous time signal is given by y of t equal to integral minus infinity to t infinity x of tau into h of t minus tau into d tau and con uh, we know that convolution is commutative therefore y of t can also be written as integral minus infinity infinity h of tau into x of t minus tau into d tau a continuous time system is memoryless if present output present depends on pre present input also the condition is true only for h of tau equal to k into del of 2 and such a memory system has the form y of t equal to integral of h of tau into x of t minus tau into d tau here we know that the value for h of tau equal to k into del of 2 therefore we can substitute in this equation y of t equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t minus tau into k into which can we of after substituting the value tau. we know that the value which is equal to k into x of t into x of tau t into del of t we know that x of t into del of t which is equal to x of t therefore this equation 1 can be written as y of t equal to k into x of t where k is the constant term and here the memory system is memoryless or static if h of t equal to del of t and equation 2 i mark this as equation 2 and equation 2 is not satisfied then the system is a dynamic system and hence the output is equal to the input this system becomes an identity system invertibility of lta system consider a continuous time lta system with impulse s1 h of t and the system is invertible if it has a lta inverse system we know that for an identity system x of t convolution del of t equal to x of t and the impulse response of an impulse inverse system should satisfy the condition h of t convolution h1 of t equal to del of t and causality for LTA system. For a system to be causal, the output of the system must depend on present and past input only. That is, we know that h of t equal to 0 for t less than 0. And the, therefore, the integral can be written as y of t equal to integral c infinity to t x of tau into h of t minus tau into d tau y of t equal to integral 0 to infinity h of tau into x of t minus tau into d stability of an LTA system. For a LTA system to be stable, the condition to be satisfied is integral minus infinity to infinity modulus of h of tau into d tau which is less than infinity. Next is the Fourier method for analysis and the frequency response for LTA system. Let us consider an LTA system y of t equal to x of t convolution h of t. When we are taking z transform on both sides of this equation, this can be written as y of j omega equal to x of j omega into h of j omega. And convolution in time domain gives multiplication in frequency domain via h of j omega is the frequency response of the system therefore this can be written as h of j omega equal to y of j omega by x of j omega and the magnitude of equation 1 can be written as modulus of y of j omega equal to modulus of x of j omega into modulus of h of j omega where modulus of h of j omega is the gain of the system and the phase angle of this equation 1 can be written as angle of y of j omega equal to angle of x of j omega into angle of h of j omega where this angle of h of j omega is the phase angle of the system next is the analysis and characterization of lta system using laplace transform we know that the output of the system is given by y of t equal to x of t convolution h of t taking laplace transform on both sides of this equation the above equation can be written as y of s equal to x of s into h of s where h of s it is the system function or the transfer function and s equal to, if you are substituting s equal j omega then h of s is the frequency response of lta system first condition causality for causal lta system h of t equal to 0 for lt less than 0 here the ROC of the, the condition for causality is the ROC for a causal system is in the right of plane and second one is ROC for causal system with rational system is right of to right of rightmost pole. Next one is the stability an LTA system is stable if and only if ROC of its system function h of s include j omega axis that real part of s equal to 0 
A causal system with rational system function is stable one if and only if all the poles exo all the poles of H of S lies in left half of S prime. This, this is the possible quiz question in the analysis of continuous time system. Thanking you.